If you're regular on this channel, you know I'm an Echo user. If you're new here, I have a whole Echo video series that goes on once a week, but it's time for me to check out the Google Assistant. So I picked up a Google Home Mini. I'm gonna open this, do a quick setup, and give you my first impressions on it. But first I wanna say hi, my name is Craig. If you're new here, welcome. Let's dive into this. As an iPhone owner using Siri, a regular Echo user, I needed to know about the other major assistant, Google Assistant. I've done some research into this device, trying to figure out what was unique with it versus using an Echo. And there are minor differences, but so much of it is the Apple PC, iPhone, Android, Google, Echo. They've all evolved to a point that they're great products and they pretty much do the same things. So let's take a look at the box first. This is the Google Home Mini. On the side, controls Nest, fill up you bulbs, Wemo, Google Chromecast, Google Photos, Spotify, Netflix, YouTube, and a bunch of other compatible apps and partners. On the back, we have Small and Mighty. Google Home Mini is powered by the Google Home Assistant. It knows it all. Tap into the power of Google. Tackle your day with alarms and reminders. Make hands-free calls to front family, friends, local businesses. Enjoy your entertainment using your voice, voice control over your house. Uh, hi, how can I help you? Just start with, I won't even say it so I don't trigger anyone's devices, but then what's your nearest flower shop? Call James Flowers, tell me about my day, remind me to pick up. Okay, so stuff you could try, some of this stuff will actually require compatible devices such as adjusting your thermostat or being able to play things from Netflix. Let's get this box open, cut the plastic off. I gotta be better about my unboxing reveals. Do the pull tab here. Let's pop open the box. Right off the bat, we are greeted by the Google Mini Home. I will say, I do like the look of it. Let's set that aside. What else in here? Little let's get started guide. Plug it in, download the app, get to know your Mini. The basics of it, tap the left side, volume down, long press for play, pause. Tap right, volume up, long press for play or pause on that side, and a mic switch. There's your commands, how to use it, kitchen, bedroom. Okay, we can look more into that later. We have the power adapter to a micro USB, and that is it. Branded Google power adapter, doesn't come out. Basic stuff, we'll set that aside for now. Now let's look at the device itself. It's a cloth top, micro USB on the bottom there, and it has a mute switch and orange rubber on the bottom. It's a very clean design. There are no buttons that are visible, no lights visible. This initially when it came out was competing against the second generation dot, which I have one here. And if you look at the two side by side, it is a much better look. This is a lot more industrial, the buttons on top, the grill, all of that and this is a lot cleaner so I'll give it that. This has the light ring around it. This has like four dots under the display which we'll take a look at. This is the most recent release and in another video I'm gonna do some side-by-sides for some sound comparisons and you see it's definitely a cleaner look. It's like they took some of the design elements, the cloth from the Google Home a lot more rounded than the previous version. Still, you're looking at the buttons on top. My guess is if I went into a, do a sound test, that this would actually have a uh, better sound out of it because it is a larger device and it is the updated version. Uh, one thing to note though, there are no other ports on the back. The dot is meant to complement an existing sound system. Both of them will do Bluetooth. Well, let's set that aside now. Let's plug this in, see what it looks like. I have my phone and I've downloaded the app already. Let's just walk through the process. Right off the bat, I see the four little lights uh, through the fabric grill. They're going back and forth, pulsing. Ooh, multicolor, Google colors. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. I've already done that, let's launch that app. And I've already set up my home, um, wasn't much to that. Let's add this device, set up a device, Google Home found. 
little blue light action happening on top there. Did you hear a sound? Yes. Help improve Google Mini. Uh, sure. Where is this at? It is in my office. I do like that it's not like the Echo devices where you actually have to connect Wi-Fi from the phone to the Echo. Now let's explore what we can do. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I'm here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. Let's turn that down. I think you tap it. Okay, play some music, set the volume to 70%, stop, get answers to things, get stuff done, tell me about my day. Okay, now when I set up the app, I logged in with my Gmail account. Okay. Find places nearby. I found some choices. Hook Burger, Sole Soups, and Osteria Orto. I do like the little volume buttons. They're just a little tap action right there. I think it's listening. Sorry, I can't help with that yet, but I'm always learning. Hey, good to eat around here. You've got several options. Hatch Cafe and Market, Osteria Ordo, and Elung Dumplings. I don't have YouTube music. Um, what else? I don't have Spotify set up, Pandora, Tidal. <laughs> I basically have none of this music ready. Let's see, let's ask it a question. Go for it. What time is it in China right now? The time in China is 8.07 a.m. Who was the 34th president? Dwight D. Eisenhower was the 34th president of the United States. How far is it from here to the Eiffel Tower? Eiffel Tower is 5,652 miles away as the crow flies. Hey, what's the weather tomorrow? In Agora Hills tomorrow, it'll be sunny with a high of 75 and a low of 52. Will I need a jacket? No, it won't be cold tomorrow in Agora Hills. Expect a high of 75 and a low of 52. When will I need an umbrella? This week in Agora Hills, it doesn't look like it's going to rain. What's the latest in the news? Here's the latest news. By the way, you can also ask for news about a given topic, like news about the Oscars or any other topic that is currently in the news. From Reuters TV, US, at 4.05 p.m. today. It's election night in America and the first- Hey, set a timer for five minutes. Sure, five minutes. Starting now. How much time is left on my timer? Four minutes and 53 seconds to go. Stop timer? Okay, it's canceled. Turn off my lights. It looks like those lights haven't been set up yet. Just open the Google Home app and go to Home Control to add lights. Have you ever been married? I'm married to the idea of being the perfect assistant. Okay, that's a look at some of the features on there. Uh, just trying to play with the volume. So to play something, a little longer press, volume up. If McGrath comes out on top, that could be an early sign that Democrats are in for a... I'm not seeing the directions for how to initiate a command without having to call for it. I didn't see it in the little pamphlet. So you could use either volume up or down with the long press to start it or stop whatever you're listening to. My first impressions, it seems like an easy setup. It's not much different than going through an Echo setup. Uh, going through some of the different apps and options on there, I do need to go deeper in and set up some of the home stuff. In asking it questions though, it did feel a little more conversational than using my Echo devices. With the Echo, you can turn on follow-up mode where it'll listen for the next command. This by default is listening for the next thing. I did notice that it was able to connect inquiries to other things. I was asking it about how far away is Paris and these different things because these were questions that my wife and daughters were asking our Echo 
and it's kept telling us I don't know how to do that or I don't know that one. I could see where the power of Google comes in and retrieving information. I'm gonna need to play with this some more, but that's the unboxing my first impressions. I do think it looks fine. I gotta see how it sounds, um, but no complaints so far. I do feel like with some of this stuff though that I'm gonna have to get deeper into the Google ecosystem when it comes to calendars, contacts, and all that other stuff. One thing I do like about the Echoes is they don't have their own ecosystem for some of that stuff, so it's opened up to use Google, iCloud, and contacts from my phone. When I tried to call my home, it was not using the contacts from the phone. It didn't ask permission to use the contacts from the phone, so I gotta look into that further, but I'm interested in playing with it some more. Are you interested in watching more videos with me using the Google Home Mini? Would you like to see some comparison videos between the Echo and the Google Home? Let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you haven't, consider subscribing to check out future videos. If you'd like to help support the channel, check out the link in the Amazon description. Bookmark it, click it, use it, and Amazon will kick us back a little. I appreciate you watching this. Have a great day. Bye.